doing it you see um, Berlusconi does it a lot okay uh, there's even the president of Iran doing this Ooh. it's symbolic of what okay this symbolism thing again is causing problems uh, the Americans have been using this for a while it has their own symbolism I mean just because you see some guy in the street doing this you know in America doesn't mean they're part of the Illuminati Okay, come to Italy. Okay, driving in your car. Although now this is becoming much more common, but uh, if you upset another driver in Italy, they do this to you. Okay, doesn't mean that they are a member of the Illuminati. Okay, in Italy it means that your wife or your girlfriend is, as they do in Italy, having sex with somebody else. Iconuto. Uh, so when you see Berlusconi and Berlusconi who is a particular person, uh, personality and certainly is co uh, involved in some pretty nasty stuff but when he does this he's just being a fucking idiot excuse the expression I mean, it's just a <laughs> you have to understand Berlusconi okay we have elected idiots okay to rulers but they're working for other people but that does not symbolize okay that they are members of the Illuminati it doesn't mean that they're not members okay but it does not indicate it's not proof okay don't get lost in this in Romania okay Romania <laughs> the count okay this is the evil eye it was used to ward off evil come to Italy again and you'll see little red pendants like this okay which they uh, they also touch their balls as well <laughs> very superstitious people let's not get lost in superstition here okay Good luck, bad luck, very common uh, things in humanity, okay? Basic symbolism. Just another thing on symbolism, and this is, I could go on for, for a long time. I've made the video about the symbolics, okay? And that's the problem. Alan Watt does say some good things, but he also gets very lost in this symbolism. If we want to solve the problems of the world, let's focus on what we have. Don't get lost in other things. Uh, I've seen um, on the internet many people who have put the pirate flag, you know, the old skull and bones, skull, bones, okay? And they're trying to connect that to the skull and bones 322, okay? That little nice secret, not so secret organization in Yale. I will talk about that in other videos and I have some questions concerning that, but I'm not going to go into detail there at the moment. There are a lot of connections, Bohemia and, and the geography. Um, but first of all, it's very important that if you're going to concentrate on the skulls and bones, concentrate on the skull and bones. Okay, the difference. Pirate flag. Skull is here. Bones are separate. Okay, it's a different symbol. Okay, the skull and bones is the Totenkopf. The Totenkopf, as used by the SS, okay, and by regiments, a Prussian regiment before that, and in fact comes from the east. I will go into that in, again in the future, okay? They are connected, and the, the, the two, after the 32, 1832, the, I suppose, established date of the Yale branch of the Skulls and Bones, the one, let's go east. But that's just to say at the moment, don't mix up your symbolism, okay? Don't put everything together and think, whoa, look, they're all, because it's not going to help. Okay, we're going to solve this problem, let's do it seriously don't get this hype because the hype is what the media is using if we start doing it as well we are completely fucked excuse the expression symbolism I mean you can take symbolism any way you want okay look at something and think oh I found it okay for example I have a tattoo I'll show you the tattoo um, just a minute okay right tattoo 
Uh, I'll show you a photograph of that in a moment. Some people could look at that tattoo and say, oh my god, he's a demon, which it is. Okay. And think, oh my god, he's a devil worshipper, which I'm not. Okay. Um, it's symbolic. Ah, not so symbolic to me in the sense of whatever it was. At the time it was symbolic. It is symbolic because of the actual experience. I was 18 years old and what the fuck, I had a tattoo. Um, and what I was going through in my life and what I was interested in my life made me do that. But it had nothing to do with the devil. But many people will jump at that. Don't jump to conclusions. Do your research. Find out what the thing is. Find out who the person is. Do the connections. Let's be deep here. That's what they do. And if we want to criticize them, but stay here lazy, jumping at silly little confusions, we deserve what we get. Okay? We want to resolve the problems of the world. Let's resolve the problems of the world, but let's do it professionally. Okay? I may win on the roundabout Then I lose on the swing In or out there is never a doubt Just who's pulling the string I'm all tied up in you But where do you give me to? Like a puppet on a string.